All right. This is going to be how to use Snapchat lenses with OBS, no needing for a modified snap camera or anything in 2025. This works. This is the method I personally use. Very easy to follow. So first things first, you need to have your lens. If you're doing a custom one, you need to update it, upload it to snap camera. I mean, Snapchat, get it approved. Wait for it. Go to your back end. Find the lens that you want it to be. So like my Chucky Potato here. And you're going to click Enable Web AR Lens. And you're going to copy that link. Now, you're going to, if you go into your OBS right off rip. And you put it in as a browser. Right? So you put it as a browser source. Put it for your, your canvas size. If you have audio, you want to control it with OBS. So you can be able to make sure you can hear it. Put the frame rate as 60. You are going to run into this error here if you just go straight into OBS with it. Camera permission required. All right, I'm just going to make, I'm going to blow this up real big so you can see it. You're going to get this error. There's nothing you can do to fix it in this point in time just by throwing it into OBS right off the rip. You need to go to your shortcut that you're using to launch OBS. So preferably your desktop one, right click it, click on properties. And at the end of this target here, there will be like, you know, where it says OBS 64.exe quotation mark. You're going to put a space and then it'll be dash dash use dash fake dash UI dash four dash media dash stream. I'm going to put it in the description. You could just copy and paste it in there. Make sure you have a space, hit apply, hit OK. Then you can launch up that OBS. Go to where it was at. And boom, now it works. There will be sometimes it will pop up asking you to accept terms and conditions. So you'll right click and you'll hit interact for that. If your background isn't straight green screened right off the rip or blue screened, that you can fully interact with this, right? You can click it, you can, you click the background, you can change your webcam up here in the corner. So there won't be a drop down, but you can, if you click it and then, and then you use your arrow keys, right? And you use your arrow keys. It will allow you to change it. So that's, so, so there, that is that I just kind of busted it. Cause I was messing with it, but that's how you change like your webcam and everything inside of it. If it's green screened or you want it to be green screened, then you add your filter, you add your chroma key. Boom. And then you can just crop the edges. So there's none of that, like, you know, browser source viewing, scale it to how you want. And there, now it's working right in OBS. No problem. No worries. Not going to show your face, nothing, because it is designed to show that. But if that's all you need it for, you can click off this video and you're happy. Get your web AR link, whether you create the lens yourself or you get it from somebody else like Phil Walton. I recommend him. He is insane with all the lenses he does. He does. He also does commission work. His links to his Patreon are down below, which then gets you access to his Discord and you can reach out to him directly. Or you could just gain access for two bucks a month for all of his lenses that he has and use it like that. But if you want to be an advanced user, you want to have people change the outfits. So you have multiple web AR links that you want to use or multiple lenses. You follow that same step process. Make sure you just whatever you do, just get the lenses. You then can take it one step further and download StreamerBot. Link in the description. All right. Link in the description. And you will open up StreamerBot and you're gonna do two, you're gonna do two things. You're going to connect your platform of choice. So Twitch, YouTube, Kick, whatever. Then you're going to go to, on the left-hand side, under Stream Apps, you're going to click OBS Studio. You're going to right-click, hit Add, name it OBS. And then this is what you need to get information from OBS for. You're going to go into OBS. You're going to click on Tools, WebSocket Server Settings. And then you're going to click Show Connect Information. And... Right here, there's going to be a password in your port. You could change your port. You can generate a new password, whatever. But whatever, you take your copy, your server, and your password, and you're going to go back into 
streamer bot in that OBS connect section and put your port, put your password, click auto connect on startup, reconnect on disconnect. I'm not going to do that because I already have it connected. You'll right click here and there will be a, you'll click connect. So, right, you'll just right click and you'll hit connect. Now you, you can see currently on the right hand side, what scene your OBS is on, are you streaming, are you recording, what sources are under this scene. So now you're going to go to your actions. You can click add. I'm just going to call this one potato change. And I'm going to do that. And then in the right hand side here in sub actions, you're going to go add OBS sources set browser URL. You're going to find the scene that your sources are on. I recommend putting it on one scene and then nesting that scene, which is way better. And you're just going to, I'm going to take that Chucky potato that I had. I'm going to take it and I'm going to post that link there. Actually, we need it to be something different than what's already in there. So I have a Power Ranger one I like to use. So that I made and I like to use. So I'm going to put the Power Ranger. You could test, you could test this by, I'm just going to move it out of the way. You'll get this little pop-up box and you hit test. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. Browser two, test. Because I have my one that I actually use every day. But ta-da, boom. So that's how you know it's working, connected, and so on and so forth. So now you pull back open OBS and you're like, oh man, I want somebody to be able to change it for me using like channel points or something. Don't worry. You're going to go up here in triggers. You're going to click add. You're going to go to Twitch. You're going to go to channel reward, reward redemption. You're going to click create reward. I'm going to call this potato tutorial one. Call it whatever you want. Set all your parameters and such. Boom. So now you got that. Let me really quickly just change. Change this link to being something else so then I can show you guys. Now, when I come over here to my channel points, right? You see the new one, potato tutorial one, click redeem. Boom, just like that changes the outfit and it, it's permanent. It just stays like that. You don't have to worry if somebody redeems it again, it's not going to do, it's not really going to do anything because the link is already there, but well, you have two of them. I want them queued. I want it to be like five, I want it to be like 30 seconds and then I want it to change me to a different one and then keep going. No fear. I got you. So just take that same action in that, in that same action underneath OBS set, set uh, studio set browser source. You can click add, you're going to go to core, going to go to delay. Put, I'd say like 10 seconds. I don't know. Well, let's do it. We'll do it 15 seconds. So 15,000 milliseconds. You could also do random if you want it to be randomly decided between like, you know, this many seconds and this many seconds. For now, we're not going to do that. We're just going to do the one. And then duplicate your action. Change your channel point reward to whatever it is. So I'm just going to do, I'm going to set this one to be, because I have another test reward, to a test reward. I'm going to make this one be the Chucky potato because we're already different. Right, just come in here, change that URL, hit save. You can also have it this be triggered by like a command. So like you can right click up here in the triggers top, core, commands, command triggered, create command, call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna do exclamation point, p man, just for now. Select where you want it to be sourced from. Like all right, a Twitch chat, YouTube chat, yada 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 how long you want the command to be on cooldown for, if you only want moderators, subscribers, VIPs, whoever to do it, you can select that, select it, and then put it over here. I'm just going to just do it for a test. Boom, boom. So now there's a command. And then we also need to do one more thing or else it's not going to queue and they will overload each other because they're both here. As you see, this says queue. They're on the same one. So if I redeem this one and then somebody redeemed this one right after, it's going to automatically just override it. You need to go over here to queue and you need to create a new queue. 
by right clicking, click add, and I'm just gonna do test. And you have to select blocking. Blocking means it's not going to go to the next action until everything in that current queue is already done before it. So double click your action, find the queue. I just made mine as test. Put them both in the test queue. And now I'm gonna pull, pull that to the side. I'm gonna click potato tutorial one, which should change me to Chucky. Right? And then you can actually pull up in the side over here, pending actions, and it shows you what's currently running. And so that one's still running. And so and then we're going to throw test right next to it. Oh, that was perfect. That was bad timing because they both. They, they, they both ended right at the time. But as you can see, this is the one that changed me to the Power Ranger. And then now it's going to the one that changes me to Chucky. And that's really it. But, oh, but it looks ugly. Here's the tips and tricks. Because it looks kind of ugly when you have it show that loading screen, right? It shows that loading screen every single time you change, every single time you change your, 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 uh, thing, right? Oh, it shows that loading screen. How do I fix that? Well, my good friend. I'm going to show you what I exactly use day to day when I stream. So mine, I have like an actual queue system built, which is if you want a tutorial on that one, let me know. I'll show you guys. But mine is very simple. Whenever it goes through, right, using the, the over OBS thing, I have it. Oops. I have it hide the source for for whatever source it's on like seeing it's on for about three three and a half seconds or so i have it do that so you could actually just put that right in here by adding a, a trigger go to sources set source uh visibility state right here right select your source so let's just say, obviously, yours is on your scene, and we're going to make it browser 2. We're going to hit OK. Right, you're going to put that above your first delay. You're going to duplicate this delay, duplicate the sub action, make it 3200 or however long it takes for yours to do. Take the, take the one where you have it hide the browser source, duplicate it. Put it after the second, I put it after the first delay, double click it, change it to visible, and boom. And then again, same thing. You could just duplicate the same action or you can copy these, like you can, you can copy these triggers and sub actions and just paste them over into your other one. So let's say we'll, we'll duplicate this one. We'll make this one 3,200. That's already hidden, so we'll duplicate it. Make this one visible. So what it's going to do is it's going to change the link and hide it pretty much at the same time. Wait 3.2 seconds and then unhide the source. Then wait another 15 seconds before moving on to what's next in the queue, if there's anything in the queue. But that's really... So, uh, so watch, let's put this into, let's put this into action. Boom. Now the source is hidden. You don't see that loading screen. Obviously that one took it, like you see it flicker for a quick second, but it just, it, the timing isn't right. It's all about your internet, how fast is going to load it. So you got to finagle with that a little bit as much as you can. And boom, look at that. It's going to hide it because now it's going to the next one and it's going to load and it's going to go there. And obviously, um, I showed you all that working with the channel points. But if you wanted the command, that command we set up, you just type, like, you know, somebody types P man into the chat. It's also going to trigger. It's going to trigger the same action the same way. Obviously, the, the link is already the Power Ranger one. But you get the point. You get the point. You get the point. You understand. So that's basically it. 
I mean, you can get fancy with it. You can use this for many different things. If you want your lens to change based on it being uh, a, a subscriber, somebody subbed, somebody gave you bits, somebody donated, and then have it change you back. Like if you wanted to have it like change you back before moving on to the next one, you would just like, you know, find whatever default one you want and you just add that action to the bottom here and then put that link instead. Right? So you have it go at the bottom and I believe this one should be potato test. Yeah, potato tutorial. So, all right. So now I'm Chucky. I'm going to be Chucky for 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, it's going to After 15 seconds, it's going to change me. Oh, well, actually, it didn't change me because of it, but because it went too fast to go to the next one, you could actually just have add like an alert little delay here at the end. So like pay sub action, right? Have a delay for like, for like two seconds or something like that. But everything you need is right there. Like, those are some ideas. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please comment them down below. Come to my Discord. Follow me on all of my socials, and you could uh, tune into the live streams, and you can utilize and see this stuff in action, how I actually use it. This is literally how I do it. I mean, I got potato down here. I mean, these actions. And mine's a little more advanced and spread out. But I showed you the very basic aspect of what you need, and you can go nuts. You can go crazy. Um, let me know if you want any more tutorials like this. I would greatly appreciate any and all feedback on this. Everything you need is in the link in the description. And I will see you guys in the next one.